When I was 15 years old, I had already been training for over 11 years. I'd collected belts, tested myself in all aspects at a young age. I fought my entire life, but I didn't understand one core fundamental aspect. What did it mean to be a martial artist? I started to fight myself, my demons, to try and understand what Bruce Lee often wrote about. The art of self-realization. I pushed myself, I disappeared to be alone to hear my own thoughts. I trained hard to learn where were my limits. Fast forward years, I was being trained by the best in the world at their respective arts. Legends, modern day warriors giving me something money could not buy. They gave me their spirits. And then I had a vision. With all their combined knowledge, I came to the conclusion I wanted to inspire the world with my martial arts, but I had to build a team. I wanted pure artists around me, masters of their craft. I wanted to create a film crew, host films. Models, yogis, filmmakers, photographers. What I love about those films is that we attract so many different types of artists from all walks of life with one unifying factor, the martial arts. Through all my travels, I've been blessed to find diamonds. People that are creative creatures who meld perfectly with the OS Films culture. This is Juliana. Directed Noah to a wrong trail mm -hmm. because he believes he still can find it. So let's test how good his navigation skill oh, is. From no, bro, the sun's about to go down. I see, I see, I see. Talking shit? Mm -hmm. I know that look. Mountain goat monkey king. Good morning, Grandpa. Good Pappy. morning, man. <laughs> Tired. As our team started to grow and our ambitions around the corner, our bond couldn't be stronger. I started martial arts at four years old. And like most people, you start out of school and you kind of learn the alphabet of martial arts, just your typical stances, your kicks. They make you do forms, one step sparring, and of course you have to spar, right? So I went through all of that and then I was really lucky to meet different mentors in my life at a certain age point, around like 17, I started getting introduced to like these legends in their respective fields but I really didn't understand what it meant to be a martial artist. To the normal person, Ted, do you think that just signing up at a karate school, you're automatically a martial artist? Here's your white belt, you're a martial artist. Nope. So, <clears throat> absolutely not. It's more than that, man, just signing up for a class. It's weird. Martial arts is one of the only things where, like, if you start soccer, you can say, I'm a soccer player. I it's, play soccer. It's, right? like saying, it's like saying, oh, shit, I, I, I bought a camera, I picked it up. I'm a photographer now. So that's where <laughs> I came to the point where 
Martial arts isn't really a sport, and I think a lot of people categorize it as a sport where you can't compare it to football, soccer, whatever. It really relates to what Darian just said. You can't just buy a camera and then all of a sudden be a photographer. It blends into this artistic world where what does it mean to be an artist? And that's like that key phrase is martial artist. So martial means war or combat. So you're learning the art of war and what the hell did that mean? At 15 years old, I had no idea what that actually meant. So you go on this crazy spiritual journey and I kind of want to like pick everybody's perspective of what it means to be a martial artist. I think everybody has different perspectives. Johnny and I probably have the closest definition of what it means to be a martial artist. Um, to me, a martial artist is a state of mind of always fighting and pushing to be the best you can be in whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. So whether it's business or, you know, anything else that we do, just trying to figure out how I can be the best at it that I can be and how to improve every day. But you know, the body wants to be comfortable. So it's getting out of that comfort zone and pushing yourself out of that comfort zone. And that's a fight because the body doesn't want to get out of the comfort zone. The body wants to be comfortable. Yeah. Like Johnny was saying, it's like really a state of mind. People think it's all physical, but really most of it's mental. Yeah. The physical aspect is just a reminder, honestly. Like I truly enjoy moving, right? I truly enjoy the energy of trapping or flying through the air. <clears throat> like there's a high that you get, I can't compare it. But it's just a physical reminder to make sure that I'm in that state of mind 24 seven. Right? Yeah, martial art is literally <coughs> the art of life, man. Life in general. <laughs> you know? That says it all. Because martial that art, right? My all. favorite kick is a low round. Ah, mm. Why low? Because I want to kick. Wow, I want to make it nice. Because my favorite kick is cool, it's easy. You can trip people, you know? <laughs> you make it. So you, 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 so you master that kick. It's the same, in, the same in life, you know what I'm saying? Or for example, photography. You know, I wear to shoot some, some girl. I say, you want to be the best at that. You know what I'm saying? You mold her, you, you, you sculpt her, so she can be the best she can be. You know what I'm saying? And then I translate it through my photography. Pow! It's the same thing with a little round. You know what I'm saying? Pow! You know what I'm saying? My shot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> One core fundamental thing that my instructor taught me, Mr. Wise, it was actually interesting because it was through religion that he taught it. So he's Christian, or he was Christian, and he said that if you believe in your religion or your system, and you want to come out faithful, just ask why. I fucking took that to heart, and I questioned everything. Why do I feel this? Why am I executing it this way? Why am I reacting this way? If somebody punches you in the face, what do you feel? Am I sad? Am I angry? Why do I feel these things? Mm -hmm. How do you control that? How do you harness it? How do you let it go? So it's like martial arts makes you confront those things. If you, but it's not even just martial arts. It's, it's I think it's that artist state of mind. Yeah. Is really <clears throat> finding the fine tune in things and, and finding a way to the best of your ability to perfect them. The unifying factor <laughs> with this interesting film crew is obviously martial arts. So in the quest to understand what it means to be a martial artist, my simple answer was that, I mean, Bruce Lee taught it over and over, is that you're just an artist of life. I fell in love with film at like 18, 19 years old. To really find what it means to be a good artist, I fell in love with cinematography, coloring, editing, photography, modeling, especially dialogue, storytelling as a whole. If you have that champion mindset that we've all found from martial arts, it correlates to all different types of art. So I'm constantly finding different ways to express different types of energy with what we're doing. Um, and that's why we're all here. One of my favorite aspects of training is the camaraderie it brings. I've never seen replicated with anything so special than the martial arts. April 2020, we'll be embarking on a new adventure in Bali with people like Yuliana and the rest of my team. I'd like to extend the invitation to our first ever martial arts retreat. I hope to see you guys there.